If you want to know how to make the jailbreak tomb robbery in Roblox Studio, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel. And as you can see, uh, we're finally back in the tomb part. And this is part 7, this is the last part of the of the series. And we're going to be creating the minecart mechanic now. And um, it has, I believe it has been 6 months since I've uploaded part 6. And then I just lost concentration on this series. And then yesterday Lua helped me with something. And now we are back in the minecart again. So in this tutorial, we'll be making part 7, we'll be fixing two bugs, and uh, we will be adding the minecart mechanic. Keep in mind, the minecart in this case only works if it's going straight. Uh, I didn't really have time to modify it uh, in a way that that could kind of work. And I hope you really um, enjoy that. I hope you really enjoy this video. If you, if you like it, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel by hitting the notification bell and subscribe button. Turn on, uh, turn on that notification bell if you want to never miss out on any video I upload. And if you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. Without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So first of all, we're going to be fixing two bugs. So as you can see, this is what we have, and we want to go to the gems. And in the gems, uh, um, in all code, after, you want to type colon clone. And just do that on every gem, so script gem and then script gem yep and then over here the last one script gem which is going to be clone so now every time you get a diamond uh, they will clone and not uh, just drag them out of server storage that is one bug and the second one has to do in executors in the bridge one in here one so in the pcal type local s comma e is equals to a pcal function and then at the end over here if s uh, or well if s then and then else if uh, e then and we're just going to do we're going to do nothing if it bugs because we don't need to do anything for that and now here comes the the funny part the minecart mechanic itself we're first of all going to do some preparations by going to replicated storage tomb robbery we're going to create a folder called cart and we're going to add another, we're going to add two remote events, two remote events, and this one is going to be the anti-spam and the stop anim. And what they do, um, in the minecart, you can press E, and then we want it to not spam. You won't, you cannot spam uh, the proximity prompt, so that's what we're going to be making. So go to start your GUI in the local script, and over here, type local anim, and then drag this player function out of there and remove this and remove the local over here. So you should have local anim, local player is local player. And then over here, just anim is equals to and not local anim. So now game, colon get service, uh, replicated storage, dot tomb robbery, dot remote events, uh, dot stop anim, dot on client event, colon connect function. And now uh, once, once that gets fired, we'll just do anim colon stop. Now for the anti-spam, uh, we're just going to do this and then change stop anim to anti-spam. Uh, over here, we're going to um, add in a cart. Uh, you want to get the cart in the, mo in the form of the model in the description below, but I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, so workspace dot tomb robbery dot descendants map dot cart dot fake cart dot center dot proximity prompt that enabled is equal to false and you'll probably not see it pop up but that's because we didn't add it in yet we'll do that in a bit task not wait five we'll wait five seconds and then we're going to set it to true again and i know i'm going fast i'm very sorry so just pause if you need to type it over make sure you got your capitalization correctly all right uh, now we can go to the tomb robbery itself in the descendants map we will make a folder called cart uh, and then you want to get the model in the description so let's do that right now so now once you got the the card from the link in the description you can go to toolbox you can go to the four dots and you'll see the card right here and uh, you want to place down the card wherever you want it to I'm gonna place it down right here 
and let's immediately get the coding because that it saves us time. But put the the card into the cart over here, and let's get to coding. Coding. Before we do so, uh, copy it. Uh, copy the cart. Go to replicated storage. Go to cart and paste it in, and change the name to minecart. And over here, remove the proximity prompt and the script. All right. And now uh, you can leave that in right there. And as I said, let's get right into coding. So first of all, we need tween service. And uh, to do tween service, we can just do local tween service. Is the game? Come on, get service tween service. We need replicated storage. So local replicated storage. Is the game? Come on, get service replicated storage. We need a local new point. Is to one? And local speed. We're going to do a speed of 15. We need a get time function. So function get time of distance and speed. And we're going to do local time is uh, well local time is equal to distance divided by speed. And then all we gotta do is we gotta return time. So this is how you uh, return time into that. Now we need a function weld minecart of an argument one. So we're just going to do arg one and then for i or well for i equals one comma hashtag arg one. So out of the everything in the, an arg one, come on get children do. And we need if argument one, come on get children i in square brackets. Is other than the primary part of arg one, then we can weld everything together, and we're going to do that with local weld. Is because the instance that new a weld constraint uh, weld that part is zero is equals to arguments one colon get children i like that, and weld that part one is equals to argument one that primary part. And well, that parent is going to be in argument one, that primary part. After that, you can do arg one colon get children i dot anchored is equal to false. So we're going to anchor everything together in the model to then set the anchor to false, or we're going to weld everything together. Sorry, we're going to weld everything together and then set the anchor to false. Uh, we need a last function, which is the function auto minecart of argument one and argument two local destinations is equal to arc one and local minecart is equal to arc two before we continue make a f make a uh, a folder in the cart like here in carts and you got the fake cart but go to cart add in a folder and call it points add in a part uh, leave it like straight like this and move it a little bit up and move it to the other side where if you want to stop and uh, get the money I'm going to do this uh, I'm just going to do this because that uh, gives me time over here make sure you put the part in the points and set it to one and I'm gonna anchor it I'm gonna turn can collide off so uh, just do that if I car let's see yes we can go back to the script minecart that primary part is equal to minecart.center. And as you can see, uh, the fake card has a center of a primary part or the primary part of a center, my bad. Minecart, set primary part C frame of minecart.center.c frame. And that gives us, uh, like, the, the, we'll just weld everything together, you know, and uh, set a primary part C frame. And that works. So now, new point is equal to one. And then, if not destinations, colon, find first child, uh, new point, or well, in speech marks, dot dot, new point, then, new point is equal to one, and minecart, colon, destroy. Local next point, uh, is equal to destinations in square brackets, dot dot, 
new point. And then local distance is equals to minecart dot primary part dot position minus next point dot position dot magnitude magnitude local time is equals to get time the function uh, distance and speed well, now we need a uh, tween information so local tween information is equals to tween info uh, dot new And we need a uh, time enum dot easing style dot linear enum dot easing direction dot out zero comma false comma zero like this. So you should have twin info dot new time linear out zero false zero. Got it? Local tween is because tween surface colon create minecart dot primary part tween information and c frame is equals to next point dot c frame like this now we're going to simply play the tween tween dot completed colon wait and minecart colon destroy these are the two functions you need to have now for the last one script dot parent dot proximity prompt dot triggered colon connect function player and then replicated storage dot tomb robbery dot remote events dot anti spam colon fire client player local cart is equals to replicated storage dot tomb robbery dot cart dot minecart colon clone Card dot parent. We're going to set the card to workspace. Then we will force the player to sit. So it's card dot seat colon sit, and then player dot character dot humanoid because we gotta set uh, we gotta sit the humanoid. Now weld minecart. We're going to weld minecart. Uh, we're going to weld the card, and then auto minecart of workspace dot tomb robbery dot descendants map dot card dot points and cart so comma card so if I'm correct this should work that this could work and that's what we're going to try out so let's just hop to the game and as you can see we could just collect the diamond and over here we can press E and we are not getting seated so let's see what the problem is seat is not a valid member okay let's see the script so you need uh, to add in a seat so uh, you can drag the minecart to workspace you can add in a seat as you can see a seat you can rotate it however you want and you can customize it i really don't matter it really doesn't matter as long as the seat is placed so let me just put the seat to the back because you're like you're going to chill in the back and then you can put the minecart back to uh, the cart like this so that's what you just want to do. And let's test this out once again. And keep in mind, uh, it doesn't claim the money yet, but we'll add that in a second. So, boom. And boom. As you can see, we're in the minecart. We are reversed, though. It doesn't matter. As you can see, we're going right to the end. As you can see, we're in a minecart, and it should destroy itself. As you can see, the minecart destroys itself. And um, we still have our gem, but we'll code that in a second to uh, make that disappear. And let's try again. And as you can see, you can go again. The anti-spam works. As you can see, the minecarts just get destroyed. As you can see, no errors. So this is really cool. And I'm really glad uh, this works. Let me just check one script. I believe I'm in an error somewhere, but I could be... Uh, nope, I didn't. Um, so now you need one more thing. So go to cart, add in a part, and put this part at the end. Put, th put this part at the end. So let me just do this. I'm going to make it green as if it's a collecting part. I'm going to make it anchored. I'm going to turn King Collide off. 
and the transparency I'm just gonna make it a little bit light green you know so you can still see it like that you can make this part invisible don't worry you can just make it invisible by setting the transparency to one in the part you need to make a script and that script is the following it is not that hard script dot parent dot touched comma connect function object if object dot parent comma find first child humanoid then local player is going to be game colon get service players colon get player from character get player from character object dot parent so over here we're checking if a player has a humanoid and only uh, players have it and that we're making a player uh, variable out of that object and now if player dot tomb robbery dot values dot gem dot has gem dot value then uh, player dot leader stats dot money dot value plus equals seven thousand because you get like seven thousand from the tomb I believe. <clears throat> uh, you're gonna copy this and then equals to false and game colon get service replicated storage dot tomb robbery dot remote events dot stop anim colon fire client player. Because we're going to stop the animation so you're not holding your hands in the air because it's a gem anymore. And lastly, player that character that gem colon destroy. We're going to destroy the gem out of existence um, so that uh, that works. So now we're basically we are done with creating a minecart system for the tomb robbery for jailbreak. Now, if we just get a gem, as you can see, boom, we got a gem. And let's go in the minecart, boom. Uh, you can just rotate the seat, doesn't really matter. Hello. And once the minecart d gets destroyed, we will immediately get our money, and you won't be able to see that because of my in immensely high money. Uh, let me just update that for in a second. Um, that should do it. So let's play again. Uh, I should have like zero data now. As you can see, zero, and let's get a gem. As you can see. The minecart gets destroyed, our gem goes away, and we have $7,000 extra. There's two things we have to do. Go to the link in the description to get the code for Greenwich. And the reason we're doing that is because this tutorial is really outdated. And uh, we've updated the code in the meantime. And we just need you to get the new code. So copy it and go back to studio. Now we're back in studio. Go to Greenwich and just simply paste the new one in. And I'm just going to do this so that I have zero data. We have to do one more thing. And let's do that right now. I think the best way to do this is to remove the script that parent colon destroy on the gems, so that uh, you still uh, so you can get unlimited gems for the tomb. So just destroy this line and paste this code for every single one of them again. So let's test this out for the last time. So let's get it to uh, a gem. Boom! As you can see, we got a gem. We cannot get multiple. As you can see, it doesn't work. Now let's get into the minecart and boom. Anti-spam works. We're in the minecart. We're going right to the end. Okay, 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 okay. And as you can see, the minecart goes away and we got our $7,000. So this is a really cool way uh, on doing it. If you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like. If you like this video, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel and um, if you want to become a member click the blue join button down below and all I can say is that my name is Doobie and I say peace out